Hi, thanks for joining me again for another unboxing video. Today, we're taking a look at Tiny Epic Zombies, a game of brutal survival by Scott Alms. Play as hopeful survivors or play as the zombies in this fast-paced game of brutal survival. Tiny Epic Zombies features five distinct play modes, team versus one cooperative, Team vs. Game Cooperative, Free for All vs. One Competitive, Free for All vs. Game Competitive, and Solo Play. In Tiny Epic Zombies, survivors are always on the run, collecting weapons, killing zombies, and working toward completing objectives. Complete all three of your objectives and you may get out alive. Fail to keep the zombies from overrunning the entire mall and you'll become their lunch. Features four equipable meeples. 12 items, two meeple vehicles. Okay. By Gamelin Games, and you can get a Gamelin Games, but got by whoop, Gamelin Games dot com. Okay. There it is. 2014. So let's, let's crack this bad boy open, see what we got inside. Small box compared to everything else. Oh, well, that's cool artwork. Look at that artwork. Right on the inside of the box. That is awesome. Love that. Rule of survival. There's an instructional video if you scan it right there. That's cool. Okay, check out some other games they got. Nine objective cards, 32 search cards, nine mobile cards, 14 player cards. Four meeples, 12 items, four tokens, ammo tokens, zombies, survivor, barricade token vehicles, melee die, 12 objective markers, three horde markers, four room tokens, and 29 objectives. Game modes, like we just said out there, there's five different types. Prologue, game setup. Okay. Nicely laid out. Gameplay overview, human player's goal, zombie player goal, selling the search and supply decks, wounds and ammo, wounds, ammo, eaten alive, human turn, zombie turn, room turn, okay, human turn. Each turn you must move three times. Each move could potentially consist of the following actions, A, B, and C. Kill one zombie, use room ability, and or interact with a token. Collect items. Two, search current store, see page 11, zombie turn. Move one room, golden rule, kill a, one zombie, melee attack using a melee weapon, melee dice results, ranged attack using ranged weapon. Human abilities, use room's ability and or interact with a token, running ability, stopping ability, secret passage, pick up supplies, barricade tokens, objective tokens, collect items, weapons, backpack items, pick up items, search your current store, Bench cards, zombie turn, check for noise, add new zombies, deal, draw new search cards. Check for noise, does not match the store, matches the store, add new zombies, add two zombies, add zombies. Move between stores into the courtyard. Corner stores, center stores, damage the barricade, reduce the barricade token by one, remove one of the survivor tokens. Deal, draw, search cards, overrun, bleeding out, zombie abilities, completing objectives, game ended, human victory. The human players have completed all three objectives, zombie victory. There are no more survivor tokens in the courtyard, and then either a human is eaten alive or the barricade token reaches zero. After all cards in the search deck have been revealed, each human player has taken one more final turn, and the human players have not completed their objectives. Other game modes, cooperative two to four, setup changes, competitive versus zombie, competitive two to four players, setup changes, and glossary and classification, bleeding out, eat alive, empty, overkill, overrun, room, stores, turn, vehicle, solo, one player in a solo game. There it is. To a total of 20 pages in the booklet. That's not too many. Nice. Zombie. Oh. Alright, 
So these are your characters that you can play. You can play a lawyer. You may spend one point, one, one something to cancel the effect of any event on your turn. You must have three moves. You can use a knife or a pistol. Again, if they're killed, they become a lawyer zombie. They can do five things. That's pretty cool. That's normal. Lawyer gets killed. Lawyer zombie pops up. You got a burglar. You got a bad guy. He's got a knife and a pistol. Breaking in and entering. When searching a store, you may also take one face-up search card from an adjacent store without zombies once per turn. Okay, what's it say on the side here? Oh, here's a backpack where you can put your card. You have to put your card over here, what they're carrying. Burglar zombie. When a player is overrun, they must perform a drop check. Let's see below. Country tough farmer. Knife pistol again. Backpack. Farmer zombie. And then there's a trucker. Brawling Betty. If you are run, roll the melee dice. In the backpack, the knife, the pistol. And trucker zombie. There it is. Some kind of meeple. Looks like a dog. Get that out. Are, but this looks like a little dog meeple. There it is, right there. That's kind of cool. We call it epic. We call it tiny epic for a reason. These pieces are very, very small, so you gotta be careful there. All right, your epic zombie. You got some cards here. Ninja Star backpack item. Ninja Star, bazooka, katana. A service dog. There's your dog right there. We just saw the dog. Awesome. These look like the weapons that they have there. Oh, there's the bazooka. Looks like a hatchet or, or it looks like a hatchet or maybe a golf club hockey stick. Not sure what it is. Got that right there. We got some more cards here, the epic zombie cards. What's we got here? Got an axe, fireworks, Uzi, adrenaline, crowbar, revolver, chainsaw, skateboard, explosion, frequency. Let's see the front here. Oh, all the fronts are the same. We got an axe, which is obviously a weapon, fireworks, Uzi, adrenaline, crowbar. Revolver, chainsaw, that's what chainsaw says. Gas fueled gore. If you roll a this or a that during a melee attack, after taking wounds, you may make a free move as if you had rolled a, another icon. All right? Skateboard. On your turn, discard, discard, use a move to go into any room. Explosion. Frequency. Frequency. Grenade. First aid. Shotgun. Frequency. Assault rifle. Pickup item, ranged weapon. If you perform a ranged attack, you may instead spend two bullets to kill two zombies in rooms adjacent to you. First aid, immediately heal two, then discard the card. Frequency, immediately gain two, then discard this card. Call the CDC scenario. You must have the radio advanced, the objectives token. Zombie event card, just one bite. Place one additional zombie into this store, then discard this card. Grenade. Golf club, I was right, golf club. All right, grenade, crossbow, adrenaline, zombie vent, explosion, frequency, machete, fireworks, and a barbed bat. Looks like Lucille. Shh, it's a different kind of game. Here are your meatballs, we'll take some of these out. Meeple police car. Meeple motorcycle. These are some of the cues they were talking about. 
That is a zombie. And here's your regular core beetles, who you would be. Was it one of them? Was that one? The crosses look like ah, one of the player meeples. There you go. Two and your player meeple can. Put inside the car so you can go for a drive. Take off. There you go. All right. So that's your some, just that's just some of your tokens that you have there. You can see them there. Okay. And here are your game. There's more meeples here. There you go. That's the driver. There you go, fits in there perfectly. It doesn't fall out, see? If you don't like the car, you could always hop on the motorcycle and take off. All right. You also have the people. Okay, so you got your four different colored meeples. It appears that you can put your weapon in the meeple's hand. So there you go. He's got an axe. There it is. Boom. He's got an axe in one hand. He's got a revolver in the other. That's kind of cool. There you go. Tells you what they picked up and what they lose. Do they go in easily? Do they come out easily? They come out easily also. Make sure you don't want to break them. So you got, let's see, you got the Uzi. Like... Shotgun. Chainsaw. Spike back. Lucille. Shh. Don't say that. Samurai sword or machete. Crossbow. Assault rifle. Pistol. Axe. There's your machete there also. So that's machete. The other one must be, I don't know what that must be. Oh, that's katana. Sword. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Oh. Another automatic weapon. The dice. Not sure what these indicate, but once you read the rules of probably come up pretty quickly. That's cool. All right. Put that to the side. Some more tokens and some more cards. So let's, kind of, let's take a look at your tokens. All kinds of tokens. Again, not sure what these all represent, but there you go. Just showing you a couple different ones. All the different kinds we got in here. Looks look like little bottles, antidotes maybe, who knows, numbers. I'm not quite sure what they all mean, but here they are, the different kinds. Alright, and we have, oh, just found the crowbar was in that pack too, there, crowbar, there you go, put that over there with this one, right. put that all to the side there, and we got some cards, let's see what we got here, alright, more cards, alright, so, these are the map tiles parking deck echo ridge security 
that's a parking deck. That's cool. They're very slick, so you gotta be careful with that. Rich Rich's Galleria. Three rooms, one, two, three. Gaming World, a gaming store. Cool. LTL Hobbies. Now again, one every card has three rooms to it. Crafts and Colors. First place sporting goods. Kick it camping. Three rooms again. This is your starting point. Cooperative courtyard. This is where you start your game at. Everybody starts in there. And a competitive courtyard. Coffee shop. Going coffee. Echo Ridge Food Court. Mart. Looks like a department store. Fin finish it hardware store. Amps Electronics. TE Toy Store. Hordes Collectible Store. Hers Jewelers. I like the fact they have secret passages. Again, these are small tiles, but it's very cool. Very cool. Oh. You could be a scientist. A scientist zombie. Mechanic. Mechanic zombie. Athlete, and then the athlete zombie. Greaser, with the Michael Jackson jacket on. Greaser zombie. Photographer. Photographer zombie. Janitor. Janitor zombie. How about a fry cook? Teenager. The survivalist. Second game in a row that I, uh, second game in a row that I unboxed that had a teacher in it. Very cool. Mall cop. Zombie side. Doctor. Doctor zombie. Really like the artwork. Very very cool. Hippie. Hippie Zombie. That's the pop star. And the pop star zombie. And here we have some competitive objectives. Investigate the source. Okay. Find the source of the outbreak. Save the stranded. Escape the mall. Assemble an arsenal. Fix the helicopter. Call the CDC. Again, pick up frequency cards while holding the radio. 
discover a cure. Discover the cure by finding all three ingredients in the correct order. Escort the army. Escort one army squad into the courtyard. Quarantine the infected. Quarantine and then capture two zombies. Well, so there you have it. Another unboxing. There it is. Tiny Epic Zombies. Thanks for watching. Be safe, be well, be blessed. If you like it, make sure you hit the like button. I'll see you the next time. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.